a wall of over eighteen thousand Jewish names. Each one has a story in Shanghai. For example, this was one of the quotes、uh, from a Jewish refugee. His name is Eric Goldstab. He said, "Quote: No consulate or embassy in Vienna was prepared to grant us immigration visas until I went to the Chinese consulate." So Eric and his families were granted with papers that led them here to Shanghai, and the city provided shelter for many more families fleeing from persecution during the war. Under these red and gray brick walls once lived the Jewish refugees. The space has been expanded and converted into new halls, able to fit ten times more exhibits than before. We followed curator Chen Jian on a tour of the new building. In the design and production of our memorial hall, we used a lot of historical materials as well as many new technologies. For example, the route to escape to Shanghai is a photonic membrane, like a piece of glass, that allows visitors to get information about, for example, the ships that Jews took to Shanghai. The new hall not only displays the living conditions and clothing of Jewish people living in Shanghai during World War II, it also tells the stories of how they made a living, got married, and raised their families in the city. What is even more precious is their friendship with the local Chinese. In 1943, a Jewish man who was about to leave Shanghai asked his Chinese neighbor Lin Daozhi to keep his books for him. He had more than 1,000 books. He lived for 70 years, and Mr. Lin and his family faced lots of challenges to keep the books during the war. Later, we learned that the Jewish owner had died, and that the books were now in the museum's custody. With the efforts of the Shanghai government. This museum is becoming a place where Jewish survivors and their descendants travel to discover their history. The Chinese helped Jews. Jews helped the Chinese as well. Our friendship goes hand in hand. It's so good to know that China expanded the museum and opened it to the public. With a steady stream of donations of books, passports, and items from the past. Chen said they are looking forward to gathering more information about the history of that time, and working together to improve the memories of friendship. Liu Jiaxing, CGTN, Shanghai.